Okay, so we just talked about the Victorian confectionaries during the centennial, and here we have a recreated uh, small version of one of these shops. Um, it's kind of amazing to think about the transformation at the beginning of the show from plants native to the Caribbean and uh, tropical regions, and the experience with sugar that many uh, young, young and old folks had and have today which is colorful candy that they see in jars and in packaging in candy shops. So uh, these antiques represent um, a small portion of our collection of uh, early uh, blown glass candy jars. These are from South Jersey, uh, from Weber's Confectionery. Those are late 19th century. Uh, cough drops were made roughly like candies were made, um, except they often had um, herbs that are medicinally helpful or uh, menthol, glycerin. You can see tins and other um, things from Philadelphia and the surrounding region. Uh, this uh, sculpture is uh, a rare Hubach baby and she's a German uh, hand-painted um, porcelain showing a little girl with a paper cone of bonbons and she's taking them out uh, one at a time. That's about 1880 and that was one of the first pieces we acquired uh, when we went into the candy business. You'll see Whitman's Instantaneous Sweet Chocolate. Um, that was one of the products that they featured. They were one of the reasons that chocolate, um, along with Milton Hershey, who started here in Philadelphia and ended up in Lancaster, um, chocolate really got going in the later 19th century. We chose not to really focus on chocolate here in the show and specify more specifically about sugar. Uh, chocolate's a whole other exhibition, and perhaps one day we will do that like to also point out um, this really fantastic poster of uh, what's called Salma Gandhi and she was a uh, a creation of the Czech artist Alphonse Mucha and then uh, this is a candy shop called Reinert's, which is up in North Philadelphia, that we were able to, to buy some of the pieces. Here you'll see um, trays, glass trays full of chocolate, uh, jars full of bonbons, the scale for measuring them out, and then ice cream parlor seats, because most of these candy shops had soda fountains in them. So here's the soda fountain counter here at the back, where they'd serve ice cream. Uh, this woodcut shows the American Centennial, uh, one of the streets in Philadelphia, and it shows a corner fruit and confectionery shop. So a lot of these confectioners sold dried fruits and nuts in addition to candies, ice cream, and this very well might be Market Street. Here's the horse trolley, um, someone selling marble or wood. And then here you have uh, Civil War veterans who are trying to collect money. Um, this one fellow is wounded. This is not that different than seeing uh, uh, Vietnam veterans after that war um, trying to get some help and support. A lady posting a letter in a box. And so I like to think of this as Sheen Candy, circa 1876. Over here there's a, a fancy uh, lithograph printed in Germany featuring kids in a candy store, showing candies much bigger than the children um, for eye appeal. And that was made into a calendar in 1913.